Now let's consider or let's discuss the angles of departure and arrival. What are the angles of arrival and departure in a old locus? Let's assume that we have a system represented by these three poles and two zeros and let's sketch the root locus according to the rules uh, we derived so far uh, on the real axis we have nothing and then we have a locus between the pole and zero here nothing and another root locus that extends to infinity this branch is complete starts from a pole goes all the way to a zero this branch it extends between two zeros, zero here and the zero at infinity. So that means we will have a breakaway point or a arrival point between the two zeros. And though that's where um, the, the branches starting from these two poles will arrive, it will start from pole one, arrive here and then go to zero one. And from pole two, arrive at the same point and proceed to zero two. Now, um, the question is, what is the shape of this uh, branch? I know that the arrival point it will arrive perpendicular to the uh, imagine it to the real axis, but is it going to take this path or maybe this path or something bigger we don't know so to have a better approximation if i know the slope of the root locus here i know the departure angle okay, if i know that the departure angle is in this direction then i know that uh, Approximately, I will have a line that's a tangent to the departure line and tangent to the arrival line, and that's a better approximation. If the departure direction is in this uh, direction, definitely the departure angle is not going to go like this. This is a possibility. Okay, some root locus might have this form or shape of a root locus but I cannot determine which one if I don't know what the uh, tangent at the pole is and that angle we call this angle is the angle of departure similarly if the root locus is arriving at some zeros in the uh, complex region then we will have the same issue that if the root locus arrives at this zero is it going to be ar arriving in this direction or in this direction or in this direction I know that the root branch will end at the zero for some system but how would it approach this uh, zero that angle is going to be called the angle of arrival. Arrival. So that means that the angle of departure The angle of departure is basically the slope. The what is the slope of the root locus. Near uh, a pole. And the angle of arrival 
is the slope of the root locus near a zero. So how can I determine these angles? How can I determine the slopes? Okay, I'm going to use the angle criteria, basically. Use the angle criteria, which says that the sum of angles of zeros minus the sum of angles of poles equals 180 degrees plus minus K 360. Now, to determine the slope here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a test point very close to the pole. Okay. I know for k equals zero, the roots are at the pole. Let's say for very, very, very small value of k, uh, the roots start to depart from the pole, and let's say the root is very near uh, to the pole um, and it's already here and let's see what location of this test point will satisfy the angle criteria so I need the angles of the zeros so from a vector from the zero to the test point And let me call this angle alpha from the second zero to the test point angle beta. So sum of angles of zeros is alpha plus beta minus the angles from the poles from this pole. Let's call this angle. Um, gamma and from this pole to the test point um, let's call the angle phi so I will have angle gamma plus phi and we still have the third pole from this pole to the test point, this angle, let's call it theta. So plus theta equals 180 degrees. Now, if the test point is very, very close to the pole, the the angle theta would represent the slope of the root locus. Now, to determine the angle theta, let's solve for theta here. Theta equals, it's negative theta, so I'll take it to the other side, and I'll end up with alpha plus beta, minus what's left here is gamma plus phi, 180 degrees to this side does not matter plus or minus because it's 180 degrees so I'll keep it as plus 180 degrees plus minus k 360 so what do we have here these here are still the sum of angles of zeros the same thing here these are the sum of angles of poles, except the angle of the pole where I'm trying to find the slope. Okay, except theta. So I can define the angle of departure at any pole if I'm 
looking for theta at four angle of departure. at pole number i then theta i is the sum of angles of zeros minus the sum of angles of poles or zeros from um, R equals 1 to number of zeros um, m and for the poles for L equals 1 number of poles is m except that L is not does not equal I so I will add all the angles of the poles except the angle from the um, the part the pole at which I'm calculating the angle of departure plus 180 degrees plus minus k 360 now how do I do that okay. what I need to do is actually have this test point as close as possible to the pole so that the line between the pole and the test point represents the slope at the pole. So I will have the test point very close, and that means that the angles from the zeros and the poles to the test point, and the test point is very close to the pole, are exactly the same as the angles from the poles and zeros to that pole I'm trying to find the angle of departure at.